And then just one other thing. <coughs> You've had a few days to look back. Was it uh, a mistake to have the president uh, continue on his schedule, even going and you know before making his first statement about this, go and ordering uh, you know cheeseburgers at the uh, the charcoal pit up in uh, in Delaware and continue on a campaign schedule? Uh, what looked like a campaign schedule, and, and including fundraisers in New York. Was, was that a mistake in hindsight? Uh, it was not. Uh, again, what the president is looking at and what his team is looking at is does he have what he needs to do his job? Uh, and over the course of that day, you saw the president make calls to the uh, Ukrainian president. He made calls to the but Malaysian the prime minister. The pit, right? I mean, he went on his... You uh, know, I mean, well, it's, uh, again, what the president's focused on is his ability to do his job. Uh, and what we saw is the president make calls to the Ukrainian president, to the Malaysian <coughs> prime minister, to the Dutch prime minister. He called his secretary of state, and he convened a secure call with his national security team to talk about both the situation in Gaza and the situation uh, in Ukraine. So the president had all the tools at his disposal that were necessary to fulfill the responsibilities of the commander in chief. Uh, and that is what we were focused on. Uh, and if there were a requirement for the president to change his schedule so that he could attend to this urgent priority and fulfill his responsibilities as commander in chief, we would have not hesitated to make that change. But in this case, the president was able to continue his schedule uh, and ably fulfill his responsibilities uh, as commander in chief. And I would anticipate that that's what the president will do over the course of this week as well. Okay. Ed.